Hi, I'm Susie Cohen, a real-life pharmacist offering real-life solutions. And last week I wrote a column in the newspaper about astaxanthin. It's pronounced astaxanthin, just like that. If you want to read that whole column in its entirety, go to my website, which is dearpharmacist.com. Um, today I wanted to share some information about it because I've been getting a slew of emails asking more and more questions. It's an absolutely phenomenal supplement. It comes from algae. It's the king of the carotenoids. So let me back up a little. Algae makes astaxanthin. It's a natural dye. And when fish come along, like or shrimp, um, crabs, lobster, uh, salmon, and they eat it, they eat this natural dye called astaxanthin, and it's pink or red in color, and so that's why those foods are pinkish or red. Also, astaxanthin puts the pink in flamingo, so that's kind of cool. And it's a carotenoid, that means it looks like uh, beta carotene, which everybody's heard of. Beta carotene is fantastic for vision. Well, astaxanthin's even better. And I've been doing a little bit of research. <laughs> okay, a lot of research. <laughs> The nerd in me looked up the structure. That's how I know it looks like beta carotene. And that's important because it gets into the fluid of the eye, just like beta carotene, only it's a lot stronger. And so it can help with cataracts and macular degeneration. It can help prevent blindness, in, in my opinion. It crosses this thing called the blood-brain barrier, which surrounds our brain. And very few antioxidants get in there, but uh, this product does. Astaxanthin goes in there and sweeps up all the nasty free radicals. It can help you if you have any kind of condition of the brain, like Alzheimer's or dementia or memory loss, um, anything like that. What about inflammation? <laughs> inflammation? I'm so glad that I thought of that. Um, it's absolutely fantastic because it's an anti-inflammatory, and I think it works just as good as Celebrex, in my opinion, but maybe not as fast as Celebrex. Um, anything that you have that ends in itis, this would be fantastic, like tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, bursitis, arthritis. Think astaxanthin. It helps relieve all the swelling and inflammation associated with those conditions. Even pancreatitis, that's huge news now. A lot of people are um, you know, developing pancreatitis, and also we have an ever-growing population of diabetics. Well, astaxanthin can penetrate the tissues of the pancreas and repair your beta cells. How cool is that? Your beta cells are the things that help produce insulin. So this is a phenomenal supplement if you have diabetes or pancreatitis. It's also great for um, athletes if they want to help with muscle recovery and it gives you energy. It's great if you have carpal tunnel syndrome, um, MS, rheumatoid arthritis, Parkinson's, Lou Gehrig's. I think astaxanthin has a place in all of those conditions. Now one thing, it will make your body run more efficiently as many antioxidant supplements do. You know, they clean up the body so your body starts to run better. And with that in mind, you may require a dosage reduction in some of your medicines. So watch out for that. Um, one more thing. If you've ever had a procedure where you've required radiation, astaxanthin is known to help offset the uh, effects of radiation. So this could be a, a very helpful supplement for you if you've ever had radiation. And, uh, oh, back pain, forgot to mention that. <laughs> if you're suffering with back pain or neck pain, uh, astaxanthin would be fantastic as well. Now, I don't get any money <laughs> for, for telling you any of this. I'm just so excited about it because it's been so long since I've come across anything that's so well researched. And it comes from algae, and I think algae does a body good. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.